This is a little desk collection hose switcher that I made on my Shapeoko CNC machine. The port on the bottom connects to my shot back with a two and a half inch hose, and the two ports on top connect to my bandsaw and my CNC machine. And this device lets me switch between the two automatically using a linear actuator. The linear actuator runs on 12 volts, and depending on how you have the polarity set up, it'll either extend or retract. And I'm just using a double pull, double throw relay to reverse the polarity when the 120 volt coil is energized on the relay. The switcher is made of four pieces. There's a bottom plate, which slides, the top plate, and the two side plates act as a sliding guide. And I also made a drill guide for drilling the holes into the top plate. I didn't record me using the drill guide on this project, but this is another drill guide that I frequently use. Using these self-centering bits and the drill guide, I can drill a hole exactly in the center of my material. I used half-inch high-density polyethylene, which is really slippery and easy to machine. It's always reassuring hearing the protective plastic film peel off your part after you've machined it. It means you didn't cut all the way through your wasteboard. And here we're going to try it for the first time. To get my dust collection hose switcher to switch automatically when I turn on the bandsaw, I'm adding a power strip to the back of the bandsaw so that when the bandsaw is on, that power strip's on and it'll energize my relay. I happen to have a half inch NPT pipe tap, so I'm using that to install my cord grip. I could just run a cable straight from the saw to my relay, but I decided to add a power strip so that I could add a light in the future that would come on automatically with the saw and the power strip also has a circuit breaker in it. This power strip didn't have any provisions for mounting screws, so I'm just using double-sided tape and a clamp to allow the tape to set up. Here I'm wiring up the power strip wires to the motor so that they're both energized when the switch is turned on. And I really like these Wago lever nuts, especially for finely stranded wire where regular wire nuts don't work well. These, you just put the wire in and snap the lever shut, and it's always spring-loaded so it'll never come loose. Now when I turn on my bandsaw, the power strip is energized at the same time. When I designed the mechanism, I put the relay on top so that I could see the LED light up. I also added this little flag in the slot so I can see if the mechanism gets stuck. So here I have the air hose connected to my bandsaw, going to my switcher, and the other side goes to my CNC machine. If you'd like to build one of these vacuum port switchers, I'll leave a list of parts in the description below, along with a copy of my drawing files. Thanks again for watching.